हेलो सर ओके ओके रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्टेड सो वी कैन कंटिन्यू वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल आई एम आनंद कुमार फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस टूडेज वेबिनार ऑन अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे वी हैव आवर रिसोर्स पर्सन प्रोफेसर पी जी ढवड़े सर फ्रॉम संजय गोडाउत यूनिवर्सिटी इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट I welcome you, sir, for today's session. I also welcome our HOD, Dr. Rajin M. Lina, sir, for today's session, and also all dear participants, all teaching, non-teaching staff present over here. Welcome you all. Before starting the session, I would like to request our HOD, sir, to address the gathering. Good afternoon to one and all. Good afternoon to all faculty members, participants, and outside people who are joined to uh, join today for this webinar. Usually, in this electrical engineering field, nowadays also we have many opportunities outside. Some of the hidden things most of the people not aware. What are the uh, main opportunities, sir? But now also in the year, I know, I think all of you know that in the year of 2040, most of the electrical, most of the vehicles are uh, electrical vehicle only, not uh, our conventional vehicles. Since the reason is every day the high spike of uh, petrol uh, fuel uh, fuel nowadays and another one pollution. Due to that, uh, United Nations General Assembly also. And uh, in all other countries, around 20 countries, come continue, you uh, know, come back together, and they have started to uh, implement this, uh, uh, no, green energy, especially electrical vehicle, uh, wind energy system, oh. solar energy system. So where once we get this, uh, no, job, we will have a lot of plenty of opportunities are there. Once the once the students graduated from B Tech Electrical Engineering. So that uh, this is the main thing. Anyway, uh, first of all, I congratulate congratulate Mr. Pradeep Dawle for uh, arranging such uh, for get ready for providing this opportunities of electrical engineering to all our participants. And uh, I also thank Anand Kumar for arranging this uh, program and uh, you know doing full doing wonderful comparing and arranging this all uh, today's webinar. Uh, once again, I thank Dawle. Uh, Sir and Vanath uh, Kumar and all the faculty members for uh, supporting and arranging this type of uh, webinar for monthly two, three webinars to in a success process is going on. So in future also we are planning many webinars regarding industries and other things with our students also. Uh, I hope uh, this webinar will help you and you can find out what are the opportunities in the field of uh, electric vehicle, uh, sorry, electrical engineering. Uh, wish you all the best, Mr. Pravin Dabre and the team. And go ahead and officially announce that this webinar is inaugurated. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your guidance and words. Now, without wasting time, I would like to request uh, our today's resource person, Professor P. G. Dabre, sir, to start the session. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, I am going to share my PPT. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, is it visible, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So my name is Pravin Dawde. Uh, I am working as assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineer. So the main aim of arranging of these opportunities for electrical engineer is uh, some of the students they don't know which are the opportunities for electrical engineers and how to approach and those are in the class 12 or somebody who are completed a diploma somebody completed a degree but they don't know how to approach their further path right so to understand what is the exact part we have to go and follow so that we will get a job uh, that is having the good package and it will make your career not only the job but it will make your career 
So uh, let's start. If you see electrical engineering, so there are the a number of sectors where just I take this laser, right? So if we divided this electrical engineering job in a three categories like core job, IT industries, and graduation job. So basically, those are taken the admissions to the electrical engineering. Their main aim is to uh, we have to place in core industries, right? So some of the core industry which are I listed here, like power grid, uh, NTPC, NHPC. These are the few only that I pasted here. So these are the center government entity. Mahajanko, Mahatransko. These are the Pra, uh, state government entity. So every government, means every state, like suppose you consider Gujarat or Madhya Pradesh or Maharashtra, every government have their own entity, their own power generation, power distributions, power transmissions, they separate entities they have. Now, there some private sectors like a Tata Power, Adani Powers, uh, Zindal power, they also enter in the field of power generations, power transmissions, power distributions. So suppose somebody want to, after taking the admission to the electrical engineering and complete their graduations and the big question is where we have to place or where we have to do the preparation so that we will get the jobs. So these are the uh, core industries, power grid, NTPC, NHPC, main, Okay, some of the entities that is uh, central government like power grid, they are the recruit the papers for diploma also and for the graduate engineers also. So for graduate engineers, they are taking the gate exam. Through gate exam, they are recruit the students. NTPC, NHPC, sometimes NTPC also take the students through the gate examinations. And in HPC, they are also taken the students through gate examinations or sometimes directly recruitment. Another Coal India, recently the Coal India advertisement is there. They are also recruit through the direct uh, their conduction of exam. Okay. So now Mahajanko, Mahatransko and different power industries, they are also conducting their own exam and conducting uh, and means uh, recruit the peoples, recruit the students. So core job is number of jobs. So this is pure power industries. Some of the industries like Bharat Forge or Zindal, these are the industry who are the manufacturing a different uh, Maruti manufacturing the automobiles. They also recruit the papers. So you have the ample scope in this particular area that is core job. So for that, how you have to prepare, which are the syllables that we will see in the next slide. First, try to understand what is the, the core job, right? Now, electrical engineers also have the opportunities in the IT industries. Maybe you see some of your friends are working in the different industries like Capgemini, TCS, Infosys, Adobe, Accengers, right? So whenever these companies recruit the peoples, they are not seeing their particular branch. They see what much creative these students, if any language is known, then they're given the training and according to that, they recruit the peoples. So you also have the good scopes, means electrical engineering background students have the good scopes to enter in this IT industry also. If you see the syllabus, which is set up by the Gurao universities, in that also, if you see some subject that is belongs to the IT fields, and number of universities now include the IT industry related subject one to two, because if they are known that you are in language, then it is easy to them to enter this IT industries. So even if you see this Infosys, the founder of Infosys is uh, Narayan Murthy. He is basically electrical engineers, right? So you have also the big opportunity in IT industries. So here I want to say, if you are taken electrical engineering branch, it is not mean that you are not entering the IT industry. You are eligible to enter the IT industries.
some of the students from our department they are uh, placed in this industries and are also working right now now this is all about the it industries now when you complete a graduations electrical engineering that is 3 4 years programs if you complete it means you completed the graduations now uh, in the year of second year or third year if you think that okay abhi mujhe uh, graduation mera complete hua mujhe jana hai a government job ke liye ias banna hai or ips banna hai so in that case and the different uh, agencies are there or we can say that different government authorities are there for at state level always state public service commissions are there at central level union public service commissions are there and this ssc is nothing but staff selection recruitment process right so this is also the central entity and they are recruit the people for the different posts like income tax officers excise duties uh, uh, then cbi for different sectors they are recruiting the people through this exam so they have the different stages okay so these are the area core it industries and graduation based jobs in the graduations in the sense where the non technical person also and technical person can enters right but you have the advantage suppose through the maharashtra public service commissions they are conducting the exam maharashtra engineering services upsc also and ssc also conduct the exam junior engineer post okay so there are details we will see in the next slides once you completed your graduations the number of students the one portion is always they are asking to the faculties so what to do we are not place uh, we are not having the job opportunities so now recent days the government of india and different state government what they are started they are starting the apprenticeships so once you completed your graduations or diploma you have to register yourself on this website that is national apprenticeship training scheme in a shortcut it is called nats right so nats is nothing but national apprenticeship training scheme their website i given here so what is the advantage once you registered on this website once you registered on this website you get one id right and through that id you can apply different government apprenticeship training schemes so that training for one hour uh, one year six months 12 months and they are giving the stipends and once you completed that training whenever the job opportunities are open they given the first choice to yourself another thing they are also forwarded your resumes your data informations to the different private industries so you get the benefit in that case and they also provided the stipend so now even if you see as uh, some apprenticeship jobs in that case you see uh, indian railways power grid recently power grid that is uh, dealing with the electrical engineers they advertise near about 1000 plus vacancy for the apprenticeships and they giving for the graduation they given 16000 as a per month for the apprenticeship so very important when you completed your degree or your diploma you have to registered on this website that is nothing but nats national apprenticeship training scheme and you are getting the id now next thing is when we are talking about the future of electrical engineering so main future if you see in a renewable energies electrical vehicles and locomotive why we said that renewable energies because most of the government in the world they are focusing on this renewable energy because of carbon emission problem and due to that the uh, temperature of earth is going day by day increasing so to avoid that number of governments focusing on this renewable energy and accordingly they making their policies okay so most of the government they are targeting to 2030 2025 they have to generate the more energy that is related to renewable energies so the companies like sujlan or adani green or tata powers so number of students have the good opportunities to enter this renewable energy field 
Now, second point is electrical vehicles. If you see electrical vehicles, where the main part is your motors, right? So that mechanical energy is converted, right? Electrical energy into mechanical energy. So here, the main part, main person is electrical engineer. So you have also the good opportunities in this field, electrical vehicles. So maybe uh, in the future, maybe in the two to five years, the most of the electrical engineering they are maybe absorbed in the field of automobile, particularly in the electrical vehicle sections. So locomotive means the long locomotives like an electrical train, if you see, recently uh, the Indian Railway, they are giving the advertisement for the junior engineer, near about 14 to 9,000 junior engineers they are recruited in the last years in the two different phases. So the futures of electrical engineer is bright. This is, we are talking the core. We are even given the example of IT industry, how the electrical engineers getting the job in IT and the graduation base also. <clears throat> now, next thing is, when you enter in your graduations, now some student may be in the final year, maybe in the third year, or maybe they are taken in the first year admissions. So first year is, in engineering, you have to decide your path and study timetables and continuously follow your personal timetable. That is very important when, if you want to achieve something in your life during the graduations, <clears throat> because first year to, means I can say 21 to 25 years is very important age, that is the constructive age. Okay, so first year, if you are in the first year, you have to make some timetables and follow that timetable strictly. Then second year engineering, when you are in the second year, focus on aptitude reasoning and make clear what you want to do after the graduations and start your preparations at this stage, second years, right? Apart from your conventional subject learning, you have to focus on this aptitude and reasoning. We are generally have the habitual, once we are entering the final year, at that time we think about this aptitude and reasoning. So at that time it is very difficult. In the third year engineering, you have to focus whatever you've done in the two years, just analyze and make the strategies and uh, refer some previous year papers. So that is third year engineering. In the final year, you have to know how to make your resume, how to upload that resume, how to attend in the campus on and off, and where the campus outside the universities, outside the colleges. Right, and this is the general thing, field of engineering and tasks, that is electrical engineering. So working on motors, quality control, testing of battery packs, developing wiring harness. These are the main function of electrical engineer when you enter in the industries. So the main point is which skills as an electrical engineer you should know. First one is problem solving skills. Right, so your mind should be developed from first year to last year in such a way that whatever the, day, the problems which are coming in front of you, you have the problem solving skill, not the problem creating skill. Then creativity means you have to solve that problems in an effective way, new things. Right, so these are the qualities here I don't want to tell you, but you have to develop this one. Eye of details, commercial awareness, leadership skills, and all these skills you have to achieve during your graduations. Now, main part is, <clears throat> if you want to ready for the current job market, so which skill you have to know? First one is your updated knowledge. Second one is your strong technical skills. Now software skills, that is MATLAB, AutoCAD, Python, PSC, SCADA, right? Why I specifically written this, some software, and this software you have to choose during your graduation only. MATLAB, number of industry now using this for the simulations, circuit design, AutoCAD, it is universal, you can, if you enter in the automobile industries or mechanical industries, then it is very useful. Why Python? Because if you see the data analysis or big data, machine learnings, in that case, the trend of using this Python language is very useful. It is very simple as compared to C programming. 
why PACN SCADA? If you see the number of automation industries, those are working on the automations. In that case, you require the knowledge of this PLC and SCADA. Okay. So those are uh, having the confusion, sir, what I have to do in the summer vacations or when I have the uh, one month leave or two month leave or after the graduations, you completed all these tasks, AutoCAD, Python, PLC, Scala. Definitely your resume weightage will improve and it will be definitely helpful during your recruitment process. Communication skill is most important part. Whenever you are presenting your knowledge in front of others, your body is okay, structure is okay, but how you are expressed, that expressed through your communication skill. So communication skill is an important part. Even if you see in the IT industries, uh, they are more given the weightage on these communication skills, team management, right? So that is very important thing. So all these things you have to develop yourself during your graduation, during your completion of engineering. Now, suppose I'm going to categorize the different examinations, right? So different authorities are there like MPC that is Maharashtra Public Service Commission, UPSCs are there, the SSC is there, the state government and GATE. So GATE is nothing but a graduate aptitude test examinations. Those are from the technical background for them, this exam is conducted. First, we will see a Maharashtra Public Service Commissions. So through the MPSC, they are recruit the people for engineers. That is for Maharashtra Engineering Services. This is the direct recruitment if you see. For UPSC, if you see, that is Indian Engineering Services. That is also department exam. And if you see the group, group A and group B, group A and group B. So this exam is for the gazetted officer like that. So there are the different stages. So stages, first stage in the MPC, if you see, preliminary, main and interview. There will be pre-cross scale, main cross scale, interview through any, you have to appoint it for the post of group A or group B. And their eligibility is degree in engineering and syllabus are technical and plus non-technical also. If you compare this UPSC, in a UPSC also the same thing is there. Only in the main examination, we have to write down the conventional papers. In case of MPSC, you don't have the conventional papers. Here you have objective type questions. Now, next one is SSC, that is Staff Selection Commission. And if you, I talk about a technical exam, in the technical exam, they are recruit the people for the junior engineers. So this post for the group B, there is an exam only, there is a no interview. If you score high, then as per the merit list, they are going to select. And every year, these exams are declared. Uh, MPC, sometimes they are uh, declared the advertisement, sometimes they are not declared about this technical exam. But UPSC and SSC, Every year, they are uh, advertisement, given the advertisement for this post. So if you prepare accordingly, then it is not a difficult task, but you have to prepare in a proper way and sequentially and with by refer the previous year papers and patterns. Okay, now state government, all these things are talking about the electrical engineering only. State government, if you see the state government, different state government of Mardiscom, Transco, Genco, then municipal corporations, MIDC, MADA, Metro, right? Nowadays, the Metro uh, given some advertisement for JA, section engineer, station controller, because the state like Maharashtra, the different metropolitan cities are there, like Pune, Nagpur, Mumbai, Aurangabad. So, the if you see the network of this metro day by day is going to increase and accordingly the advertisement should be there. So you have to prepare for this also, right? So there also exam and interview and then, then accordingly they are the peoples. Now the gate. Most of the peoples are thinking about what is exactly the gate. So gate is nothing but your graduate aptitude test which is based on whatever the syllabus you learn from first year to the last years. And once if you go very high rank in the gate examinations, then you are eligible to enter in the different PSU sectors. 
that is public sector like power grid bell ongc bsnl nhpc and hindustan aeronautical limiteds right so for this you have to crack the gate examination with a good rank and in that case you getting the package more than 15 lakhs more than 20 lakhs right so their weightage is 85 percent weightage they are given to your gate score and 15 marks they are giving the weightage to your interview if you crack the interview and the score then you are eligible to enter this particular sectors okay now let's see uh, maharashtra engineering services that is technical if you see their syllabus structure for the Maharashtra Engineering Services Group A and B, recently for electrical engineer they are equipped uh, recruit some uh, students. If you uh, go on the website of Maharashtra Engineering Services, there you see the their merit list and the mark declaration and selection and recommendation list. So in Maharashtra Engineering Services examinations, there are the three stages. First one is pre, that is called Purva Pariksha, Shambhal Guraji. Mukhe Pariksha Chashe Guna Chi Ani Mulaka Thi Pandas Mata Chi So Tumhi Purva Pariksha Paas Kela So Tumhi Mukhe Pariksha Saadhi Zata Mukhe Pariksha Chai Gun Hei Pakta Pakar Le Zata Purva Pariksha Chai Gun Pakar Le Zata Nai When they are making the merit list So Mukhe Pariksha Mede Tumhala Javadhe Jasta Gun Asna Javadhe Jasta Marks Asna Tevadhe Tumhala Merit List Mandi Aala Helpful Oto And Mulaka 50 Marks so out of 50, they are maximum giving 35 to 36, maximum, right? So main aim is, main aim ka asal bhai tumsa, mukhya parikshan mein sarva jasta moon ya achyo karala pa jai. Right, that is Maharashtra Engineering Services exam, right? Now next one is, if you see that there are uh, syllabus structures, so now this is, uh, Parisha Yojana, right? So Parisha Yojana cha andar ka tumhi bhagit la ta Marathi dhaha markala asti, Ingraji dhaha markala, General Studies e vis markala asti. General Studies mande Samanya Dhyan, Itiyaz, Bhumore sagrad include ke la. Ani saath marka hi tumhi che engineering field related asta. In that engineering field they are included electrical also, sometimes civil also, sometimes mathematics also. If you refer the previous year question paper, you will better understand. This is this structure is for the pre exam, right? And their syllabus, if you see, very simple. Their syllabus, uh, Samanya Shabda Samuha, Vakaran, Mani, Vakya Prachar, Ingraji, Samanya Adhyan, whatever this, all these things we already learned from 1 to 10th class or 11, 12 also. So that is very uh, easy to you prepare for this exam, right? This is the syllabus. This is a syllabus for pre-exam. Now, if you see the technical syllabus for this Maharashtra Engineering Services, matrices are there, partial differentiations are there, right? Applications. So basically, first year and second year mathematics, they are included. Elements of electrical engineering, in that case, you see your syllabus, like DC circuit, AC circuit, three-phase circuit, single-phase transformer. Engineering mechanics also they are included under pre-examinations, right? So they are about the Maharashtra Engineering Services. Now UPSC, if you see, in the UPSC, if you talk regarding the technical exam, so for us, the technical exam is Indian Engineering Services. If you pass this exam, then you will be recruited for the different post, which is as a gazetted post. The maybe you may be the director of Indian Railway, you may be recruited at the at highest post in the army or defense or DRDO. Like that, they are posts they are giving. Every year they are advertised given the advertisement for this Indian Engineering Services. Let's see, these are the some screenshots I taken. Right. So near about in the October month, October November month, they are giving that advertisement. So here also the three stages are there: stage one pre-exam, then main exam, and personality test. Okay, so pre-exam, if you uh, pass the pre-exam, in the second exam you have to solve the conventional type papers, and you have the choice to select the papers. Same things. So if you see. 
different subjects are there like category 1 general studies and civil engineering so 2 hours for the aptitude and general studies so in the general studies and engineering aptitude they are asking uh, history geography uh, then environmental and engineering aptitude they are asking some question from the blood relations uh, then logical uh, then series arrangement like that they are asking the question once you refer their previous year papers to mala ek prakare idea bhetun ganar right here now electrical engineering category 3 here also the same things so two hours for this paper 20 and electrical engineer paper 2 that having the duration of three hours and 300 this is a pre examination uh, their uh, plan so you have to score out of this 500 marks now in the main stage if you see the indian engineering services main stage in the main stage examinations different subjects are there in the category 3 electrical engineering paper 1 electrical engineering paper 2 so three hours durations of papers and maximum marks of 300 and 300 so out of 600 you have to score and accordingly they make the merit list and once you crack the second stage that is conventional paper then you go for the personality test that is nothing but your personal interview where you have to score out of this 200 so 600 plus 200 that is uh, total and out of that they make their merit list and accordingly they also do the selection so upsc is the main exam pre main and then personalities just to compare mpc and upsc comparison mpc tumhala sopi vatel if you want to enter in the technical field okay and these are the syllabus right this is the syllabus for electrical engineering upsc engineering mathematics all these things matrix theory eigen values eigen vector system linear equation all this is nothing but the syllabus of first year and second year mathematics engineering material this subject in the second year circuit networks electric and electronic measurement computer fundamentals in that computer fundamentals they including the subject like boolean algebra so digital electronics part basic electronics that is also digital electronics part and say if you prepare for this exam what will happen uh, ultimately you are preparing for the different uh, competitive exams like uh, uh, gen code trans code automatically you will do the preparations same syllabus are also there analog and digital system signal control system electrical machines power systems so this is the syllabus for the uh, upsc examinations that is indian engineering services now we will talk about ssc j right this is all about the technical electrical engineering related i am talking we have electrical engineering related opportunities i could to make us a put a job with that that is also the government focus related i am put up with. now ssc is nothing but staff selection commissions so every year through ssc they are recruit the people for uh, different departments and the post name is junior engineers now if you see the scheme of this uh, examination they are also having the paper one then conventional paper and then direct list so in the paper one means uh, your pre-exam if you see the first subject is general intelligence reasoning that is question number 15 marks is 50 general awareness 50 50 then general engineering so in the general engineering we have to focus on electrical engineering only so likewise 200 marks paper is there okay so general awareness generally they are referring the uh, different books like a uh, lucent books they are using and general intelligence reasoning they are using rs agrawal and if even uh, some books are available in the market uh, that is related to previous year question papers if you go through that question papers you will get the idea how to prepare for this exam now next where you get the post to me, exam pass and to me, to me, recruitment bete, kute, kute job bete. So, a different organization side that is Central Water Commission, Central Water Commission, C, CPWD, Department Post, uh, ME, 
<coughs> Amy, yes, that is nothing but milk. That is nothing but Mara, uh, military engineering services. So there also they are equipped. All these posts are filled through the junior uh, staff selections. Very important. Right, different uh, dams or different hydro projects. For that also they are recruit the students through this exam. Okay, so that all the things I mentioned. So generally the age limit is 32. Some for some posts the age limit is 30, and some age relaxation is given to the students category wise. If you are belongs to the OBC, then three years. Uh, Relaxation they are given by three years. You have to extra pakush pakar tatte. Then suppose you are belongs to SCST. Then accordingly, they are vary five to six years. Okay, and the graduation is simply you have to diploma or degree in that particular subject. Now the gate examinations. Why the gate is so important? Because through the gate examinations. You are eligible to take the admission in the higher studies like IITs, right? That is one important advantage. Second one is if you score gay in the gate exam is with very high rank, then you are eligible to enter in the different PSU sector. That is like Vail, Power Grid, ONGCs, where you get the package more than 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs. But if you have gate exam through the entry. Right. So now this is gate 2022. If those are not fill the form, please fill this form. Because the last date, maybe I think uh last date, I think well, first November to 12 November, you have to fill. Okay. So that is the importance of gate examinations. If you see the syllabus of gate examinations. The same things. If you see the syllabus of electrical uh, uh, Indian engineering services and gate, somewhat similar, right? Only the thing is uh, the gate examination papers are totally the conceptual base, where you are not see the question like uh, multiple objective questions, right? Directly read the answer. It is. It will be not happen with the gate exam. In the IS exam, it may be happen. Some question may be directly you answered. But in case of gate exam, it is very difficult to find such questions. So for that, you have to learn each subject with a thoroughly, with conceptual, and what is the logic behind that particular problem, particular concept. If you understand, then it is easy to crack this gate examinations. So this is the syllabus, that is electrical circuit, electromagnetics, signal and system, electrical machines, and according to this subject wise, you have to read the books, reference books. Then and then only you are able to pass these examinations and also you will be find the interest to how to solve the questions and how to understand the concept. Power systems, right? In the power system, different topics are there. Then control systems, electrical and electronic measurements, analog and digital electronics power electronic, these are the subjects which are belongs to the gate examinations. If you have the good command on this particular subjects, then definitely you will find the good score in your gate examinations. Right, now this is one of the screenshot I taken, uh, the recruitment of engineering graduates through gate 2021, right? So these are the uh, different a PSU sector, now one of the power gate, they are recruit the people through this gate examination score. So the, due to that, the gate exam get a very, very much importance. Right, and these are the vacancy distribution. If you see here, ET, so table vacancy for open category, five vacancy for uh, OBCs. Likewise, for the different sector, they are given the advertisement on the basis of gate score. Coal India, so in the Coal India also if you see near about 117 vacancy for the electrical engineers. The vacancies are there, only thing is we are not able to achieve that post because we are lacking our inner technical knowledge. So number of opportunity for the electrical engineers. 
electrical engineer is nothing but the master man he can enter in the it industry he can enter in the uh, core sector he can enter in the graduation based examinations only thing how you set your mind that is important now let's see some some students want to make the career in the defense sectors when uh, we are sitting in the admission cell at that time some students are visiting and saying sir we want to uh, take the aeronautical engineering we want to enter in the defense sectors so my dear students you can enter in the defense sector through electrical engineering also there is always uh, technical graduate course and okay a technical entry short term technical entry in that case if you are belongs to the electrical mechanical or civil then you easily enter in the indian army because they are recruit the people uh, basically electrical engineering now suppose somebody want suppose they are done the graduation in electrical engineering and after that they realize okay i want to go in the administrative field right so for that i want to do the mba so for that uh, the good exam is a cat examinations so once you give the cat examinations you are eligible for taking the admission in the iim right that is indian institute of management right so cat is nothing but a common admission test through that also you can uh, take the admission to the mba okay in some industry demanding electrical plus mba people right so suppose you have the electrical background degree and if you done the mba so in that case what will happens you may be the managers of, of any automobile industry basically or any power industries so that is very useful so last date i think 15 september those are in the final year uh, or those are completed their graduation and they want to appear for this exam so you can register for this cat exam right now suppose somebody want to do the some ms in the outside so generally for them there is a jre exam right so this jre exam is also nothing but one kind of Uh, we can say that english testing exams because when you want to take the admission in the foreign countries they take your english basically us uk canada these people are take the english through your uh, through their different exam like gre toefl okay so now next one is the main points or key points of this gre if you see so gre full form if you see that is nothing but graduate record examinations and their op official website is this one right and this exam is generally popular for ms courses in the usa right and this exam is conducted by this educational testing services and generally the fees for appearing this gre exam is 230 dollar so you can score in this range verbal reasoning quantitative reasoning analytical writing score range so that's why i said in the previous slide when you are in the second year you have to focus on the aptitude and reasoning uh, personality development skill communication skill these are the very very important point even if you uh, little bit have some technical knowledge less but if you are good in a personality uh, communications so definitely it will be helpful uh, even one of our students who in the final year he got uh, recruited in the bhaiju because of his communication skill he get uh, got a package more than 10 lakh so that much the importance is there uh, so during in the class also you can uh, try to speak in english so that will be definitely helpful to grow your career now toefl and ielts this is also the one kind of exam if you want to do the ms in the outside means in the foreign so basically if you see the the full form toefl and ielts so here i mentioned a test of english as a foreign language that is nothing but the full form of this toefl and next is ielts that is nothing but international english language testing systems because most of the uh, universities those if the student want to take the admission in ams they are in the usa then canada then uk so and so these countries taken these exams so basically they are testing your english language so some uh, comprehensive then your reasoning they are all these things are they are going to check now the prospect 
government power industries this point already i covered so electrical as electrical engineers even if you belong to the rajasthan even if you belong to punjab any state every state have their own power generation transmission and distributions so fundamentally and basically you have the big opportunity in your your state also and outside state also as a open category you can fill in other state also and you can give the exam so you have the ample opportunity in the field of electrical engineering right this is the one advertisement uh, in the last two years 2018 uh, maharashtra government distribution company number of students are recruited uh, recruit in this particular uh, department from our department also the number of students got selected for diploma trainee also number of students have got selected okay now when you talking with when whenever i am try to talk with the students students say that sir which books i am going to prefer for this examination particularly for the gate examinations or particularly for this uh, abcd or transco genco so in whole country if you see some books are very famous like electric objective electrical technologies that is vk mehta uh, integrated course in electrical engineering that is jb gupta then rk rajput so this electrical engineering jb gupta book they are included the question of ssc uh, then is also gate question also but it is a fundamental books right some book, uh, only the objective they are given these books given some explanation so it is also good sometimes uh, those are recruit the papers those are the agency who are conducting the exam they are taking the question directly from this exam uh, from this book but this exam is only for recruiting the papers like suppose maha transco margin but if you talk about the gate examinations you never find some question in, in such kind of new question in such kind of books for that you have to refer uh, the reference book only but if you want to prepare for the ssc je or maharashtra engineering services in that case these books are very useful even power grid for the power grid this book is very good rk rajput for those are uh, appearing for the diploma this is another books by gol uh, galgotia electrical and electronics now this new book is there jb gupta explanation and solution this is also very useful right this book is also useful question bank in electrical and electronics engineering and if you see here b id mi gate ntpc bell so for all this exam these books are very useful okay some important website you can refer uh, for job also for different exam also electrical for you this is very a uh, good website they are given explanation also of each object to question sand foundry is also one of the good website where you can find number of variety questions the difficulty level of the questions is very good you can also refer this sand foundry then next suppose you want to such a job website maybe center state government or private in that case you refer this website www free job alerts no crane linking and free job alerts now linking is one kind of website where you have to make your profile a strong so that number of followers are there and according to that they also are referred to you to different hr different managers so thank you uh, thank you very much if somebody have any questions it is always welcome umma yes sir uh, all the participants are requested to ask the doubt if any any question from your end any question from your end you have any question you can ask please before ending the session i would like to request all the participants i have posted the feedback link in the chat box please go through it and please provide your valuable feedbacks any question from your end 
मखदूम सर आर यू देर यस सर सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू फॉर द सम अनाउंसमेंट फ्रॉम एस जी ओके इन एक्चुअली our uh, outside participants and inside participants actually we announcement for regarding admission okay already applies in sanjewada university ji electrical department and other department ki admission start zalele hai okay and apan ya varshi new scholarship scheme okay launch kelele hai merit based scholarship okay in this merit based scholarship je kone aple mitra kon sota asil tancha sathi mahiti hai कि 90 पर्सेंट जे बारावी ला मार्क्स है अपन को सीईटी हेजी एडमिशन दी नहीं डायरेक्टली बारावी या पर्सेंटेज वरती अपन एडमिशन स्टार्ट के लिए ओके बारावी जर नाइंटी पर्सेंट कि अभाव आल तो अपनी एक्चुअली कॉलेज की फी है मन लाइ थर्टी फाइव थाउजंड पन स्कॉलरशिप बेस्ड नाइंटी अभाव आल तो फी रही अपनी थर्टी टू थाउजंड फाइव ओके जर एटी पर्सेंट टू एटी नाइन पर्सेंट जर पर्सेंटेज आल अप टू नाइंटी पर्सेंट आल तर त्यांसाठी फी राहील आपल्या कॉलेजची फिफ्टी सेव्हन थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड आणि जर सेव्हन्टी पर्सेंट टू एटी पर्सेंट जर पर्सेंटेज असतील बारावीचे तर आपण त्यांसाठी एटी टू थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड आणि जर सेव्हन्टी टू एटी असेल सॉरी सिक्स्टी टू सेव्हन्टी असेल तर वन लॅक सेव्हन थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड आणि ह्याच्यामध्ये पण आपण लिमिटेड सीट्स आहेत आणि कोण आपले मित्र वगैरे असेल तर त्यांच्यासाठी ओके इन्फॉर्मेशन आहे प्लस आपण डायरेक्ट सेकंड इयर म्हणजे डिप्लोमा नंतर जे आहेत त्यासाठी पण आपण स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम इम्प्लिमेंट केलेली आहे ती वेगळी ऍक्च्युली ती कशी आहे की नाईन्टी पर्सेंट ऍबो जर मार्क्स असेल ओके सॉरी वन मिनिट जर त्यांसाठी नाईन्टी पर्सेंट जर ऍबो मार्क्स असेल तर त्यांसाठी आपण फिफ्टी थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड फी ओके अँड जर एटी टू नाईन्टी पर्सेंट जर पर्सेंटेज असेल डिप्लोमाला तर त्यासाठी एटी थ्री थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड फी असेल आणि सेव्हन्टी टू एटी जर पर्सेंटेज असतील तर त्यासाठी वन लॅक एट थाउजंड फी असेल आणि बिलो सेव्हन्टी त्यासाठी आज इज आपल्या युनिव्हर्सिटीची फी एक वन लॅक थर्टी फाय थाउजंड फी असेल आणि ऍक्च्युली हे सगळे जे फीस आहेत ह्या स्कॉलरशिप स्कीमच्या जे सीट्स आहेत हे आपल्या लिमिटेड आहेत कोण आपले मित्र ओके एखादे कोण असेल त्यांना तुम्ही मेसेज कन्वे करू शकता ओके थँक्यू for regarding admission seat thank you magum sir thank you very much once again i request all the participants to provide your valuable feedbacks the link is posted in the chat box uh, this is the uh, time to conclude the webinar so first of all i want i would like to express my sincere thanks to today's resource person professor p g dawle sir for providing a, a very nice webinar on opportunities what opportunities electrical engineers have how they can get various jobs in private sector government sector so the session was very nice uh, thank you very much dawle sir for providing the valuable guidance for our students and us thank you very much on behalf of all the participants also i would like to express my sincere thanks to our hod dr rajinam lena sir for uh, permitting us to conduct this webinar thank you very much sir and at the last but not least i would like to thank all the participants all teaching non teaching staff for making this webinar a successful one thank you once again thank you all good day thank you sir once again i request uh, please uh, fill the feedback form anand kumar sir yes sir uh, will you come to the department yeah, yes sir Okay, just to meet me, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you.